Hi and welcome back to video number four of this series. So the series is Nest.js authentication with JWT and password hashing. And uh, right now we want to go over the structure. So first we want to make a short talk about possible new series, what's this about, then we will read the user story for this video and then we implement the user story and close it. So, so for this series, maybe there is coming a video number five. So if you have some ideas or some pull requests that would make this code better, just post it, just make the pull request in GitHub. And then I can probably make in a few weeks video number five for this series. And otherwise, um, we can now talk a little bit about the next series. So I would like to go on with this concept that for the next series, I like clone or fork the last project. So that makes it a little bit cleaner and a little bit smaller in uh, the series size if I'm not doing everything in one big series. So one of the yeah, new series could be something about role-based access control, something about a chat application, something about microservices or a block application. So there are some ideas. So let's have a quick look at our story. Here we are in video number four and we want to simple document everything, close stories and so on. So as a developer, we want to add the Postman request that we made um, during development. We want to save them to our repository so everyone has access to them. So the acceptance criteria are very simple. We want to add or save all our Postman requests so as a collection to our repository. So if you download the repository, you can just import them to Postman and work with them. We want to update our readme with info or information about the Postman collection. We want to merge everything back to the master branch. We want to um, yeah, look at next steps. And uh, yeah, this goes hand in hand with the little overview over the next series. So we can save this and move this to doing and go into our code. And first we can see here that we are on our branch develop. So we want to switch to our branch for the, yeah, for video number four. So we can say git flow feature start. And now we can again just um, copy and paste the name of our story. And then we have a new feature branch based on develop and we are already switched. So what we can do now is we can simply here say docker compose up and start our application. And as you remember here, we have our postman requests. And then we can, for example, um, register with a new user. And this should not be because um, the email is not there. So we need here a valid email. And we can try again. And now we have registered. And also if I would register again, it would say that the email is already in use, so we cannot register again. We can not get all the users because we are not having our authorization or our bureau token. So for working with this, we would need to log in with our email and our password. And then we would need to add our returned token and would make the next request with a bureau token against our API and then we get all the users that are at the moment saved in our database. So now we want to save this or all these three requests into a new collection and save this collection into our repository. So we can name this collection like we named the project, so nest.js of JWT. So nest.js of JWT. So then we have it here. And then we can, for a simple save for this request, we want to save it into our, where is it? Nest.js of JWT. And we want to re, yeah, rename it. So register a user. Um, email needed. Um, password needed. And then we can save it to this folder. So now you see we have here now our post request of registering a user. You can, or you want to do the same with get users. So we save this here and say this is get all users. We can say 
protect it with auth. So to make this request, you need a valid KWT. You can get this with the login request. So we want to save this also to the same project here. And at last, we want to make our or save our login. So here we can say login user um, returns a create WT. And we can also edit this. Returns a trade WT, email needed, and password needed. So and now we can very simply go into here our collection. We can say export. And then we go into the project. We can make a very simple new folder. We can name this folder Postman Collection. And then we just save it. And now we have it here in our code. You can see now we have here our new folder, Postman Collection. We can stop our API because everything was working correctly. We can simply then say git add minus upper A. We say git commit with a message. And then we name this here as we named our story. And then we say <clears throat> um, edit postman collection with all requests. And now we can say, or we can check against our story. So we have yeah, finished with first criteria. Then we want to update our readme. So now we can go into our readme file here. And as you remember, First, we are saying we have some general information with um, the playlist, with the link to the playlist. And then we say this repository is a clone of the project Nest.js dockerized. And you can see more on the concept. Here are the start commands for Docker Compose file and how you can access the database um, with the P3 admin and how you can access the Nest.js API with Postman, for example. This is the concept of the series. So that we fork or clone the last project, and then we add everything we need. And these are the links to the project. So it says the first project is a clone of none, obviously. The repository link and the YouTube playlist. The same goes for the second thing that we just made here. We have here the install tools that you need and the basic commands for Docker also. And what we can also add here is, um, general information in the folder postman collection, find a collection of postman requests that you can import into postman and execute against the API. We can save this. So now we have to say again git add minus upper A. And we say crit commit message. And here we can copy and paste a bit. So the name, the beginning is the same. But now we say um, edit information about postman collection to readme file. And now we can check again. So we have also updated the readme. Now we want to merge everything back to master branch. So first we say git flow feature finish and merge everything from our feature branch here back to our develop branch. And now we want to merge back into master. So 
we say at first we can uh, make a little uh, we are now on Foundry develop so we say git merge master and pull yeah, so you see already up to date and now we can git check out master and simple git merge develop and now we have all the changes and we can push this and we can also delete um, the develop branch git branch minus upper d and say develop now you see we did our branch develop and everything was already pushed to github so now we can yeah, finish the next step so we have merged everything back to master and now we can give a little here yeah, ideas over the next series so i would like to go on with this concept um also not posting regularly videos just when I have the time or when I want to do um, and there are some ideas that I want to do in the next series for example um, I, I think at first something is coming for role-based access control so for air bug um, then probably maybe something about a chat application or a chat API something about microservices about a block whatever so there are some series that may be coming sooner or later whenever I have time.